Good afternoon. My name is Cody Witt and I am Full Circle Compost Project Manager of Waste Diversion. Waste Diversion is the process of composting materials that are usually sent to landfills. So today we are going to be going through very valuable information that businesses, organizations, or even the family home can use to understand how to properly sort compostable materials from those materials that should go to landfills. 35% of all garbage that goes to a landfill is actually compostable. Those materials could actually be sent to us here at Full Circle Compost where we can turn them into amazing soil amendments, soil products, and other organic fertilizers that we can all use in our yard and garden. If we take the information in this video and use it properly, we can all help our world be a little bit greener through composting. So, what we're going to do today is highlight in lists acceptable items in composting programs and non-acceptable items in composting programs. The acceptable items should come to us here at Full Circle Compost. Those non-acceptable items should go to landfills or to recycling. We will actually be heading out to the Full Circle Compost facility after understanding what's acceptable and what's not, and we will be looking at a load of material from one of our clients and see face to face what items are acceptable and what are not. You also get to see what a composter has to go through when there's large levels of contamination. So I would like to share with you the information first about what items are acceptable and what are not. Then we'll head out to the Full Circle Compost Facility. Alrighty, so right here we're looking at all the acceptable items that we accept here at Full Circle Compost. I want to go through each one of these first. Food scraps is the main priority. That's going to be bread, grains, and pasta, coffee grounds, dairy, eggshells, fruit, Leftovers and spoiled food, which is mainly for all of you restaurants out there. These leftovers and spoiled food can include meat, bones, seafood, and vegetables. So all of the leftovers or scraps from plates that you have can be scraped into a compost container and sent to composting. All that we do not want is a bunch of meat and seafood, say from a supermarket meat department, because those items should actually be sent to meat rendering rather than to composting. But scraps from restaurants and scraps from any organization, uh, not just in large quantities of meat and seafood, is perfectly okay. Next up on the list is soiled paper. As you can see, there is a plethora of items in the soiled paper area that can actually be composted. The main thing to understand in soiled paper is that all paper is not compostable. Only paper that is strictly paper based is compostable. What I mean is paper cups and paper plates a lot of times have polypropylene or plastic liners in them. You need to make sure that there is no plastic whatsoever in the paper and it is fully acceptable for composting. If there's no plastic, it's okay. When it comes to cardboard, as you can see at the bottom, wax paper cardboard is fully acceptable. That is paper cardboard that is wax coated that has no plastics. We do accept other types of cardboard, but it must have no tape, stickers, or any type of plastics because that is bad for the compost. As for the next section on yard trimmings, most businesses or organizations will not have these materials unless they have a large amount of landscaping around their facility. The family home will, and if it is available, all of these materials should go to composting. These are great items for composters to get a hold of for their carbon source and their green materials. Landscaping materials should always go to composting. As for the other category, the most important aspect of compostable materials is finding those products that are certified by a composting agency or a composter. If they are not certified compostable materials like cups and silverware, then it does not go to a composter. The key is asking your local composter if the materials are acceptable or not when it comes to compostable products. So here's all the items that are not acceptable in composting. This mainly deals with those items that are recyclable, such as aluminum, glass, and plastic, 
and I emphasize plastic. Plastic is the composter's worst enemy. Any plastic bags, plastic bottles, plastic cups, plastic liners, those should all go to recycling or to the garbage. If you have any question in your mind whether something is compostable or if it's for trash, throw it away in the trash rather than send it to composting. You can ask your composter first, but if there's still doubt, send it to trash because it's better to throw it away than it is to sort it twice. All the other items here need to be taken to garbage. Uh, follow this list strictly especially when it comes to styrofoam and also when it comes to cardboard or paper is more easily recycled than it is sent to composters. So here we are, we just saw the load get dumped. That was 25 compacted yards of materials that are supposedly acceptable materials. Uh, so far the clients that we have on, every load is different. Some loads are completely food waste. Some loads, as you can see in this one, are a large amount of paper products. Those are acceptable. As we just learned when we looked at our list of acceptable and non-acceptable items in the composting process, a lot of paper products are acceptable. You can see right below me, here, we have a bunch of food waste. All of this food waste is acceptable. These cups that look plastic actually are certified compostable and they are also acceptable. Only certain companies are certified acceptable for compostable materials such as cups and silverware. Here we have a plastic straw that is not acceptable. Plastic and aluminum is our worst enemy. Plastics, aluminum, tin foil, all of these things, those are not acceptable. Plastic, as in this plastic bag, is not acceptable. Here in the big load that we have, we have a plethora of different materials. Cardboard is acceptable if it's not covered in tape stickers and such. This is cardboard that is perfectly acceptable for us. All of these paper products are acceptable. They're soiled papers. Pizza boxes, coffee filters, soiled papers such as napkins, all of those types of materials are acceptable. We are again. I just want to show you some specific examples of acceptable and non-acceptable items here at Full Circle Compost. So we got our load dropped off from Costco. Uh, there is some contamination, not a lot of contamination. Here's some more that I found. So I want to go through some acceptable items. Here is a box of whipping, topping. Milk products are acceptable. Meat products are acceptable in small quantities. Uh, these are the whip toppings and their containers are wax paper. They are fully break down in our composting process. The box that it in is in fully breaks down in the composting process. This piece of tape should have been taken off because tape does not break down in composting. Tape, plastics, aluminum, they do not break down. However, the rest of this is acceptable. Here is a wax paper cardboard box. Wax paper cardboard is the best because there's no tape, there's no glue, and it breaks down very easily. It's full of Doritos chips. All of those are acceptable items. Here are some non-acceptable items. What I just pulled out of the compost load is boxing packaging tie-downs, the things that go around big packages. They obviously put this into the composting compactor rather than into the garbage. This should have gone into the garbage. Our facility and our crew must go through all of this material and sort through those items that are not compostable and those items that are compostable. 
So even one little thing like this packaging material must be pulled out because we don't want it in our compost. Here is a plastic bag along with a plastic container of some sorts that was put into the compactor for composting and this is not acceptable. Plastics do not break down in composting. We also have paper products. Most paper products are compostable but a lot of promotional paper that is printed on should not be in the compost because it's full of ink and dyes. Most of these inks and dyes are not compost friendly and should not be broken down in or put into compost and many times the paper is covered in some type of plastic laminate of some type. Here we have a compostable spork. This is acceptable. Only certain materials such as this compostable spork that we have worked with Costco to purchase is allowed in our composting process. These sporks will actually break down over in our process after a certain period of time. Along with these cups that we use at Whole Foods. And that's what we have here. So the most important part is understanding that if the sorting process at your business, at your home, at your organization doesn't happen first, it happens again here at Full Circle Compost. And what we hope for is the easiest and most efficient way to go through this material is to have no contamination. So hopefully all the materials that come in are acceptable and we do not have contamination such as this plastic bag and tray. And all we have is produce and compostable items that we've gone through. So here's a load. Now you understand what we go through here at Full Circle. One of our tractors will come through this, spread it out over this entire area. Our crew will go through and hand pick through all the garbage trying to get out the contamination. Afterwards it will be covered with wood chips, let to sit and begin its breakdown process. It will then be processed into grinder and put into certain composting windrows where this will add great organic material to our compost. Depending on the items inside, if there's no contamination, everything is awesome. So we hope for no contamination. So be wary of what you put into your compost pile or into the compost bin that's going to a composter because in the end the composter must sort through it to make sure mater bad materials do not get into his end product. Alright, so here we are at the Full Circle Compost Retail Yard. So the reason we're here is to show you why food waste composting and doing it properly is so important. The important part is making the end product, as you can see here. This is our Soil Essence Elite, the best organic fertilizer and soil amendment product on the planet. So the reason that we food waste compost and we sort the material so well and we need to know what's compostable and what's not is because people do not want contamination, pieces of plastic, forks, silverware, aluminum cans in their compost. I wouldn't want that in my compost, would you? I don't think so. So, the whole reason for doing this is to make the end product, as you can see here, Soil Essence Elite. This is the full circle difference and this is why we take such time in sorting our materials correctly. So I hope you sort your materials correctly and thank you for watching the video.